The Cornish coast is one of the longest stretches of coastline in the world. 422 miles long and 300 beaches make up the jagged peninsula on the southwestern tip of the UK. Famous for its sandy beaches, breathtaking sunsets and views over the Atlantic Ocean, Cornwall is our next destination. We will be staying in a village called Crantock for one week in a house built in 1825 in the centre of the village, only a half mile walk from the beach. In this adventure, I get stranded by the tide. We explore lots of caves and visit some of the best beaches Cornwall has to offer. We also explore the depths of the ocean and go swimming a lot on the local beaches. We hope you enjoy our holiday in Cornwall and let's go. I found like a little hole in the side of the cliff. Oh! It's just like a sinkhole thing. Oh, he's right in there. He's in Tinker's hole or Piper's hole, whatever it is. inside. <laughs> right, so first bit of our trip, very successful. We found this really cool hole, uh, cave, so it's pretty interesting stuff. Look at the colour of that water, it's gorgeous. Yeah, you can go first on that one. Right guys, so we are now exploring tunnels in Cornwall. This is magical stuff. Oh, it actually goes really far. Oh, wow. Oh my God, this is... It goes really far, wasn't it? But then it gets really better. Oh, out of the darkness he comes. Looking around the office. Oh, it's breathtaking. This is our holiday house. George, you're a hunchback. Everyone else can just about manage with the height, but George, poor thing. The devil. The devil was here. <laughs> what a lovely house in deep dark Cornwall. Oh my god. Bedroom. One massive bedroom. It's got an old-fashioned desk. Yeah. George, there's a double room here. I want to claim this one. This one looks good. We have arrived in Cornwall. We have just been walking on the beach and we explored those caves. We have now had a very brief house tour. Saw how beautiful this house is. Lots, lots of bathrooms, lots of bedrooms. Very nice. One week in Cornwall. This is our holiday in Cornwall.
Yeah, I don't know how deep this water is, so this could go drastically wrong. Oh no. Oh no. So let's go and have a look at the breathtaking landscape of Cornwall. So I've made it to the top. Um, actually, I haven't yet. I've made it to this bit. Look at all these wildflowers. Wow. We're nearly at the top bench. I've made it a very, oh my God. Look how much the tide has come in. That is crazy. I didn't actually realize, um, but I'm gonna have to walk a long way around back to where I'm staying because look how much the tide's come in. The tide's completely gone in now and it is time to go back to the holiday house that we're staying at. I've been away for so long, it's so cold now, I'm so cold. I need to go home and get a shower. The tide's completely in now, so I don't know if I am now trapped and forced to go a long way round. So we'll have to wait and see. Let's cross our fingers, I don't have to whip Google Maps out if I can't get across the river and I have to walk a long way round. And if that's the case, then I will be running. The tide has come in a lot. I need to get up that big sand dune or up that path there. And then I'll be five or 10 minutes away from the house I'm staying at. Unfortunately, there is the sea and a very wide, deep river in my way. Oh no, look at that. Oh, sugar lumps. I didn't want to, but I am gonna have to resort to Google Maps to see if it can get me around. I don't know how far this river goes that way before there's a bridge or a road or something where I can cross to get back to Crantock. And there will be one, but the question is how long will that take? Anything that goes across will not be running at this time because it's around 10 p.m. now. My mind then thought it would just be easy. But it's not easy. If you are watching this video, I have got back safe. But the question is, how? Was it easy or was it hard? Let's go find out. I am actually on a road now, which is better than before. So I am just gonna walk along this road until there is a right turn to Crantock. Actually, I'm gonna run along this road. I'm gonna, I've opened Google Maps. Google Maps has said, cross the river. Um, I cannot cross the river because I will drown and die. So I'm gonna have to go around. Um, I am still on the wrong side. This really isn't ideal. Luckily, yeah, this, this really isn't ideal. It's telling me to go across the river. Obviously I can't do that, so it's just a long way around. I'm gonna have to run all the way around and back through. Yeah, the woes of Crantock. The tide covers the bridges um, when it comes in and it is now a four mile walk or run back to where we're staying. I'd prefer to be back, but at the same time, I do quite enjoy this. Um, secretly, I quite enjoy this. It's now pitch black. This is all just really sketchy, isn't it, at this time of night? My fears have been confirmed. The bridge is not there. It's just this big, wide, deep river between there, where I need to be, and here, where I am. 
I'd either run or walk it, probably run it uh, to get there quick. But because it's dark and because I don't know the area, my parents have offered to come and get me, which is very nice of them. I would have had to be running or walking for an hour to an hour and a half. It's a bit embarrassing that I got cut off by the tide. It literally happened the moment I started watching the sunset, but I just didn't realise that it was such a long way around. I thought there'd be some bridge or something. A severe lapse in my judgment. I apologise to all involved. Uh, probably quite good content that I got trapped. Um, I quite enjoyed it, but I, I apologise and it's a bit embarrassing. Thanks for coming to get me. That's where I was last night, guys, where I got trapped up there. We are here on Polly Joke Beach, which is just down the coast from Crantock, which is where we're staying. And of course, I have to jump in. Look at the views. Oh God, it is a little bit chilly. Views are beautiful, look at this. Lovely. Obviously it's still a bit chilly, but it's nowhere near as cold as I thought. <laughs> We've only been to Cornwall once before, and that was amazing, and we are now back. The scenery and the beaches are so nice. Oh, look at it. Look at it. I'm so surprised that it's not even that cold. It's still a little bit chilly, but you can swim in it fine. It's so nice. Oh. Wow. And I thought it was going to be raining. Ah. No way. There's a cave. Let's go and explore the cave. This cave is so cool, guys. Look at that. Then it goes back here. So the cave was pretty cool and let's go back out, let's go swimming. I've just finished swimming in the sea and exploring the caves on Polly Joke Beach. It was amazing, really fun. Look at that. 
It was really good fun. We have found another cave. Come on, let's go. Oh. In you can. We are in yet another cave. Cornwall's full of caves, isn't it? It is. It's, it's littered. Littered with the little buggers. Well, uh, that's what it looks like. Fantastic. Let's go. <laughs> Looks absolutely sensational, doesn't it, guys? Good morning on a second full day here and this morning we have got our wetsuits on and we are going to brave the sea. It was warm yesterday when I jumped in at Polly Joke Beach but I do not have faith with it being warm this morning so we've all got our wetsuits on and we are on Crantock Beach which is our most local beach from where we're staying and let's go and see what it's like. In the sea, it's definitely colder than uh, the beach around the corner. Yeah, look at this. So, everyone, we're currently in waist deep water because we're standing in the river uh, and the seas come over the river. So, when we go over there, which where you can see the waves, we'll get to the normal beach section. All right, so it's chest deep now, it's nearly swim mode. It's got really deep now, and then you get there. There's the deep bit, and I'm standing on the shallow bit. I made it. It was a bit of a journey to get here. I had to cross that bit, and it's, it's a big drop off. So that bit's really deep. It looks like I'm really deep, but actually, because the water, the seawater's gone over the, the river. How hard it's raining right now. Yeah, no idea. You're hiding from the rain. We have moved locations and we are now swimming in the river. The current's just making us bog down. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and swim to the bottom. <laughs> I got it on that one. 
Why don't you charge him? <laughs> we have just finished at the beach. It's, we were there for hours, so it was really fun. We are now going to go back, have some lunch, and then this afternoon we're going to walk over to Official Beach. It's not cold. Yorkshire exactly. says that, it's like, oh, are you from the south and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to come swimming underwater. <laughs> 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 I think so. Uh, we've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We're just swimming in the river again. Some beautiful views, beautiful scenes. I've got a torch because you probably won't be able to see anything. Yeah, oh, this is a bit spooky, isn't it? No, well, but there's something weird at the end. Something really weird. weird end, oh. This is really weird. Right, it's time to be a little Where? Well, look. That's not sad. What the hell is that? That's not sad. No. It's like a waterfall, though. I'm staying right here, sorry. That is, that is crazy. It just doesn't even do it. Now then, guys, what is that? We are on Holywell Beach. We're just about to go and jump in the sea. The views are incredible. Look at those islands out there. Hopefully I don't get stung by jellyfish. 